Hello and welcome to There I Said It. I'm Georgia Alfredes. And I'm Gary with the T. Y'all wish I would have seen Gary chomping down on this fried chicken. That chicken looks so good. Where you get that chicken mm -hmm. from? Girl from one of these um look restaurants, and we ain't gonna give them no airtime a day in our spot. Okay. But it's so good. You cheese, but hmm? it look good. You still smacking. Yeah, because let me tell you something, girl. And you know what? And I think I gotta take my cholesterol pill, because bitch, you know all that chicken, honey, you know, it causes cholesterol. And I take cholesterol you know not, pills for. You know you're mm -hmm. supposed to be eating that, Gary. You know you're not supposed to be no, doing that. I can that. eat it. I can eat it, but you know, you just got to watch your cholesterol. So I, when I go back to the doctor, I find out what my cholesterol is. But I know it's not high because I take my little pill every day. But, you know, I eat chicken like once a week. Okay, I, I don't. I just love them, honey. I love all three of them, honey. So you figure it out. But it's all good, though, child. You know, all okay. the three places, girl, the basic places. Okay, okay, I get it. All right, so listen, mm -hmm. you guys, make sure you subscribe. Oh, but subscribe then button. should say, honey. Okay. Uh, so no. but only if they, we have their, only if we have it here in Dallas so I can get it, too. Good KFC, bitch. You eat at KFC? Is it really? It looked good. Bitch, I love KFC, honey. Yeah, you know what? I don't really, I can't do fast food chicken because my mom makes such, and I know your mother cooks good chicken. Yeah, but I have she a very hard Texas. time. She in Texas, so honey, I, okay. Yeah. But you know, but when you go to your friends, but let me tell you something. I'm sorry, I have to confess it. I don't know. You might like this, but I don't like chicken legs. That's my All y'all black people eat That's chicken legs. That's my favorite. I, don't, I know that. So what, you I like the breast? I, mean, I love the breast, the thigh, and the wing. Ew. I do not like the chicken leg, because the chicken leg is just something about that little gookie thing that, and, and on that bone. I don't know. But I never yeah, do. When the I worked, little um, vein. Yes. When I worked at the health department, baby, I never get my co-worker, baby. Her name was Susie, honey. She was from California, honey. She said, honey, I just like, give me the good meat. So if yes. Said, the good meat was the breast to her. So they yes. the chicken. It's still racism in chicken, bitch. You got the dog okay. meat. Okay. That's and cheap. And the light And meat. the white meat, that's the highest. So. Yes. There but you know it. what? Okay, I'm going to tell you. I know we, we shouldn't do this. But my favorite, if I'm doing fast food in Dallas, in the area, mm -hmm. have you ever been to Bubba's? There's one by SMU. There's well, that's one the seafood Frisco. place, right? No, Bubba's chicken, fried chicken is the... And what's crazy is, y'all, for those of you not around the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and for those of you who do, then you know, Bubba's is like, in this area called Highland Park, it's like the richest, wealthiest zip code in the Dallas Fort Worth yeah. Metroplex. And when I'm telling you the yeah. fried chicken there is the bomb really? right across from Southern Methodist. Yes. Next time you're in town, we're gonna go there. Yeah, who's but, I'm frying it. Your cousins are your cousins' cousins are it's the my cousins. cousins and my cousins below the below the border. They're oh, okay. in there frying it. Yes. Oh, but yes, best I, we're not trying to really give advertisements, but while we're on it, yeah. best yeah. place in Atlanta for fried chicken. Well, good, but I still love my churches, bitch, with a pepper. Two pieces and a pepper. I oh, love yes, and corn. Churches and is corn. the best. Yes, honey. So I, I love the, the pepper and all that. Okay. I mean, it's just good. I mean, honey, we love it. And I love Popeyes too. And now you got their dirty rice bag, girl. Yes. I like Popeyes, yeah, they, but churches is better and greasier. Yeah. But yes. is there a good place in Atlanta besides churches that's not a girl, we don't I don't know if there's a franchise place that's you know a homegrown. So I go to Miss KFC and I go to um churches, honey. Okay. I don't know if there's a, a regular place. Like, you know how we have um Williams in Dallas. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And, you know, all the other places, so. Yes. I forgot all about Williams. Okay. Oh, Miss Williams. Right, so honey. And that one one more the one that fried with honey. Who is that? I don't I don't know what you're well, talking they, about. They, could you, they put honey. Is it like homemade like or is it is it a is it a chain? It's a drive through. It's a chain. Well, yeah, she's a chain. I don't know the name of it. I can't think of the name of it. Okay, if y'all know it. Comment in the comment section. Speaking of comments, yes. make sure you comment in the comment section. We always read and, and reply to your comments, but make sure that you are subscribing. You know, you can listen to our show on Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your podcast every Wednesday, new episodes. So, you know, listen while you're in line at the grocery store, if you're traveling, whatever, make sure you subscribe though so that you get the new episode as soon as it drops and you're notified of it. So do that. Yeah. Hey, we were all, J Lo made sure that we were all notified of her new wedding, her new husband. Okay. Oh, Here, don't do that. Listen, I am so like black. Y'all like so damn much. Yes, I, I do. What's the big deal? Oh, damn it. I'm not, not impressed, number one, because I'm still pissed off. I think J Lo should have went right on back, honey, and married Puffy. That's who damn it got her on the map, honey. She should have went ahead and married him, honey, and called it a day. But no, but she going to marry, um, uh, Ben that? Affleck. Affleck. She would have been one yeah. of J Lo's girls, which she may have been, and that may be why they split. Or maybe she ain't like been in shootouts in clubs. That could have been it. But maybe yeah. she doesn't didn't want to be one of his alleged 
many women. Let's remember how many babies that he has. And he had like two women pregnant at the same time. And J-Lo might not have wanted to deal with that. Plus, Child, I think not. she just wanted that old thing back and so did he. But don't you think Ben Affleck was just kind of waiting in the wings? And I like their That's love what story. Say. Yeah, like a love story. Man. How dare you? Look what he did, Jennifer Garden. You'd have had all them babies with her and didn't leave her. That's not a good look, honey. I don't like Listen, that poach Garner, honey. I think she Jennifer Garner was like, go she... on, because you're drunk. You like to gamble, and that's not my thing. I think she was like, get on on. Because he was having, they were having problems because he kept drinking. So, okay, they're not, a, they're not a couple that you wanted to see J-Lo and Diddy back together. I wanted to see Ben Affleck and J-Lo back together. So I'm glad. Well, but I, well what? I think she should have went to her first husband, hell, the damn waiter. Yeah. You stop that. We don't even remember you. You go where you no, You need to go and you know, um, Alfred. My thing is this. If I, I wish I could go back and find somebody from home that knows me and I know them and they be working a job. And then, you know, sometimes it's better. But, you know, I guess, honey, she would. And then what also bothers me, too. Okay, now, nah, let's see this. Did you change your last name? No, no, I did not. Why she got her name is my name is Jennifer Lynn Affleck. Bitch, nobody don't know who you are. We know J Lo. Nobody don't know Jennifer Lynn Affleck. So why and she did he did give her that name? Her, you know? But I will tell you, I have a dash for my name. But I just y'all been married. I've been with my husband for twenty years. I literally just changed it like this year, only so because my kids. It. Yeah, I hyphenated it. But I've been yeah. I've been I had the same government name for nineteen years. So yeah. Well, the thing is, though, too, because like they said, I mean. Some people are like, you know, for the kids, maybe, but I mean, she just made that very problem. Now her kids don't have the same last name. If that's your mom, well, her last name is Affleck, and your that's last why name I is did it. or whatever. Yeah, you know, that's why so I changed could, that. Yeah, but so, I don't know. She just, I'm so sick of Jennifer Lopez, honey, and this dog, man. I hope they stay together, child. That's all I I think say. they will stay together. But, okay, so I was thinking about which celebrity couples I would like to see back together. And you know, number one on my list, Oh. And you're going you're gonna to disagree. Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. How the hell you wanted to be back with Nick damn Cannon all the damn horn around here and did all them damn babies? Are you crazy? But that dick they got tainted, honey. That's a, uh-uh, that's a dipstick, honey. Uh-uh. Oh, not a dipstick. You're not going to uh-uh. make it a dipstick. Uh-uh. I mean, okay. All right. Okay. What about, uh-uh. what about Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet? Now, I want to see them back together. I like those two. I, I love, love them because they were so anti-Hollywood. They were not yeah, like. Yeah, yes, yes. honey. I okay, we agree on that. But what, nah, about, guess, what about Usher well, and Chili? That would have been nice had they got back together because you know they were. He was in love with her, baby. Then along came Tamika. Oh, baby, baby, along came Tamika. And Tamika along said, no, came a bitch. spider and sat and down beside her. her. Yeah, honey, mm-hmm. frightened, honey. Miss Muffet away. Sure but did. You know who I think would be a cute couple though. I mean, who? I figured you would love them, Janet Jackson and Jermaine Dupri. I don't like, I didn't like that couple. I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep it real. That was such an odd couple to me. I never liked, and I mean, you know, he seemed to be smitten with her and she was smitten with him, but I just, I didn't like that couple together. So mean. They didn't go. So mean. I'm sorry. I just didn't, I ain't like it. J-Lo's too, too fabulous. Not saying he's not, and sometimes, sometimes a woman wants a man like that. You know, it's kind yeah. of a little bit, Hood and a little more down to earth, and I guess she did, but yeah. it didn't work out. Okay, you know who else? And I don't know. I really don't know why they broke up. Ashanti and Nelly. It probably Nelly cheated here with that. Yeah, Nelly did her. do a lot. Because Miss Ashanti loved him and they were together for damn ever, honey. She wasted all her good years. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not saying she doesn't have more because I love Ashanti, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying all of her 20s, some of her 30s. Those are the good years, ladies. We got to stop wasting them. Yeah, I sure damn do. I tell you who didn't waste her good years, and she almost oh. did. She wasted a lot of them, but she said, forget this shit. And then Miss Cassie and Diddy. Bye-bye. But she did Miss, waste a lot. She Let's wasted a lot of her real. years, but Well, yeah, I'm trying to be nice. Yeah, she wasted a lot, honey. She wasted a lot, but she got, got pregnant quickly. Got with the new man. She got quickly, honey. She had them babies back to back, honey. I'm like, well, God, dog, honey. She That's said, baby, I'm to not going to have no one child that make that little bastard spoil. We're getting two up in here. That's and right. she got two, honey, and said, had to get his ass on the award show, um, giving her shout outs and things. Exactly. No, she and you notice he said about Cassie, he ain't said nothing about J-Lo. Say I mean, I know she was engaged to Ben Affleck, but all I'm saying is I think J-Lo saw that Diddy was out there, and she's like, no, I got stuff to do. And, and she, when she, she left Diddy, be... she exploded. 
She didn't want to be ducking bullets no more neither, honey. So that part, that yeah, part. So. Okay, so you know who's ducking bullets right now from social media? Who? Gwen Stefani. First off, are you a Gwen Stefani fan? Um, I know you're gonna I say like no. Her. I mean, no, I like what I when like she was too. on The Voice or whatever that show was. She was. Uh, I like her. I mean, you know, she was cute, but oh, I don't know if I like Miss Stefani. Did she take that woman's husband? You had to think about it. You had yes, to think about, to think about it. I don't know, honey. Uh -uh. She I took know. that woman's husband, honey. No, Mr. Farney, I don't know, girl. I'm not too Yes, with you. but that's not why she's being dragged. She's being dragged because they're accusing her of uh, cultural appropriation because she's in uh, Sean Paul's new video, and she got the little dreaded twist, and they're like, that's cultural appropriation. She's like, listen. Now she hasn't she hasn't said anything this time. She hasn't addressed it this time. But a couple of years ago, when people were accusing her of it, she was like, "If we can't borrow from each other's culture and we can't appreciate it, each other's culture, then what are we doing?" You know, when she first came on the scene, she was dating the, her band member who was Indian. So she would wear like a bindi, you know, like an Indian bindi, and people yeah. accused her then. And remember the um, the little Japanese girls? She would yeah. people accused her of cultural appropriation, but I have to say, I mean, look at how we do. We don't have straight hair. We have to use, remember Miss Lauren Hill said, um, and look at where you be at, Europe, uh, hair weaves by Europeans and fake nails done yeah. by Koreans. So yeah. we keep accusing people of cultural appropriation. You know, I, and we culture appropriate, honey. I'm we done it. However, you know? it's different for us because we did it because we needed to do it to get the job. We needed the straight hair to get yeah. the jobs or what have you. But we don't need it anymore, and we're still doing it. We're still well, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, it ain't completely over, honey. You still kind of need it, honey, but maybe not as much. Maybe you know, not because, as much. Because once you get, girl, you could go, honey, do the interview with the straight hair. Once you get the bitch, then you come with your afro on. Yeah, so, you know, that's true. You know, that's how a lot of the girls, you can't just walk up there, honey, with that afro, honey. I, 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 I. But, honey, you know, they say you're not all American. Yeah, so. but do you care? I don't care. I don't care I don't if you give wear a damn. Do you think I care? I don't care. I could care less, girl, honey. If this girl, honey, want to come to the damn job with some lips looking like, honey, she just got screwed in the mouth, honey. I don't care. <laughs> it don't matter yes. to me, child. You I know, think, do you? I think we're making... Much to do. A big about thing nothing. out of the, exactly, honey. So you know, so child, just whatever, honey. I'm get over it. You like my braids? You like my curly hair? Okay, get it, girl. Yes, that's okay. thank you. That's flattery. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, um, period. But Gary, we have to discuss this. What? We haven't talked about it. Well, you, everybody knows that Chloe and Tristan are having a baby through a surrogate. But this man, and I, I think it must be like a Kardashian ideal that. They must have babies by the same man, even if they're not going to be with these men. But how does it look when these babies' daddies are out here sleeping with this thing and that thing and having more babies like Tristan Thompson had a baby in between uh, Chloe's baby and this new baby that they're about to have through a surrogate? What does that look like? I don't no. know. Well, my thing is this, though. Now, this is what, honey, you know, I've been kind of chatting with people. We're starting to wonder, honey, if the Kardashians just tricking our asses. Because this is too much, Alfredo. It's too much. Girl, for the camera, they doing all this for the camera. Because, my God, honey, you talk about Tristan one day, honey. We ain't seen him in a while. Then all of a sudden, bam, he pop up. And there were other women. These bitches are getting storylines, honey. It's just too much. It, you even think that's what it is? Do you really well, think that's what it is? Well, it's a part of it because you do know, honey, um, um, they mama, um, Jenna, honey, she is something else, baby. She's a great manipulator. It's just entirely too much, honey. And, I mean, my thing is what really shocked me, honey, when Kim was with Pete Davis, girl, you can't tell me. These bitches went from all... Negroes and all of a sudden, oh, bam, in the middle of the game. I think I want a white guy now. Girl, that just don't seem right to me. It's just, it's too much going on. Girl, these girls all went black. They said they didn't want nothing white but the rice they ate. And honey, yeah. now, girl, Even they all got black men. And another thing, too, what they doing, and they say, honey, we're going to show you black girls one thing, honey. We will not, honey, sit here and play with these Negroes and get one baby, and you think you're going to let his ass go home. Oh, no, 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 no. You're going to come and give us two. And they're going to have the same daddy. I would not be sending little Jenny to her daddy, Kanye, and little Momahua to her daddy, Jeffrey. No, ma'am. I gonna get go that. One daddy. I, I, know, I see that this is the way they do it. But guess what? Tristan Thompson already has another baby by another one. So it, you, you can, might be... With two women, now he, he got the you. black baby with the first woman, and then he got the baby with the damn trainer. Exactly. You know? So you, you can control the babies he has with you, but you can't control what he's out here doing 
with all these other women. And don't think Kanye is not going to have babies with other the women. Because other women don't want to be a baby with them. Yes. yes. I just, and I really hope, and I, that's, you know, that's been a rumor floating around that they do this for the storyline, but we are involving little people that yeah, grow up. little people. And that damn little, what's her name, little Northwest, look like she's going to be something else, baby. She Ooh, already looks mess. like she's going to be something. Or they like, girl, we're going to let you rule the world because, honey, she already doing some things that just not very childlike, honey. Well, this child, she should still be damn in coloring and playing with her you baby You know, Kanye dogs. said that. Kanye was like, I don't yep. want my child wearing certain things. I don't want my kids uh-huh. to... I, I know if I was that... If I had a little girl... I think I would be just as strict as my parents were. You're not wearing lipstick. You don't get to wear. Exactly. I could wear my hair down until I was down until I was like ninth grade. I was literally still wearing my hair in ponytails in middle school. This but is a they, different damn time, honey. And they are just, honey, doing it up, honey. And they just sitting all this stuff. And they mamas, honey, just making more money, honey, and just carrying on. I mean, it's just too much. It's too much. You, but we're following them. I ain't we are following them. And. Did you see the video of Tristan with some chick in yes, Greece? Yes, honey, over there in, in Greece and stuff, girl. They say, honey, she kind of looked like Chloe. Oh, she was a she did a, a big simple, booty, simple, both of them and all that, honey. Mm-hmm. But that is ridiculous. But this goes to show you too. I mean, even though it may be some manipulation going on with this, but this is blatant disrespect. Oh my it's goodness! Like, I don't like, give a what damn. Is- Stop letting people get films of you. Stop letting people take pictures. Have her yes. come to your hotel room and I'll don't do be seen something. with her. What you doing holding this girl's hand when you know last week it was all Thank the news you. about us having yes. this Sarah get together? We're great co-parents. And I know they're co-parents. So that means they don't have to be, you know, they're dating. Them. But just do you have to be mm. out there like the next day, dude? No. Like get he's yourself doing... together. And my thing is, honey, I want, is he depressed? Over? But let me tell you this, though, too, honey. And we, we know this, honey. One thing we must understand, you're not going to be rich forever because he's a basketball player. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You're not going to have money forever. And so, it's honey, not going to be that Kardashian money anyway. No, nah, and the thing also, too, we got to remember, too, kids grow up. They grow up to be adults. Yes. And they and not in a world where you could just pull this shit up and see what your oh, mom baby. and daddy did. It's going to be too much, honey. You know, he may have some regrets later on in life, honey. Just like damn um, 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 Nick Cannon with all them damn babies and stuff. I mean, yeah. it's just ridiculous. Honestly, honestly, though, I'm so glad we did not have video camera. I'm so glad we did not have social yeah. media when we were young. Mm-hmm. Because yes. I had a bla- the blast. I was like, my life was yes. a blast. In my 20s, I was Rihanna and Taylor Swift because yeah. that's what you're supposed to party. I'm so glad that's there right. was no one there to record it because, yes. I mean, I was a good girl. But this saying, is too I was much. I, too. Yeah. I, don't want, I mean, these poor babies, these poor children. It's too much. It's too much. Mm-hmm. Okay, Gary, mm-hmm. people are always, okay, in the comments section, for those of you who are not watching on YouTube, you got to watch on YouTube. Um, but... People are always asking questions because we're always talking about relationships. And Gary yeah. is so amazing with his relationship answers and advice. I have sometimes called Gary and said, Gary, what should I, what do you think about this foolishness? Um, but so now we have something for those of you who have a question for Gary. It's Gary's queries. Okay. Queries, so, not queer. Queries. Not queer, <laughs> queries. So somebody wrote, I have a friend who says she's constantly being hit on by women and she's annoyed and offended by it. I am offended by her saying this. So Gary, I want to ask you, do women hit on you and are you offended when they do? Gary, see, I would think women don't hit on you because everybody knows you, you know, you got TV show. People know know your lifestyle. They know how you live. So, but were you ever hit on by women and did it bother you? No, Um, it's just, it's not so much a hit on Sometimes, you know, women are, um, you know, I just, I, I'm not a, not a touchy feely type person. I don't want you to touch me too damn much though. And I do it all I the time. Y'all, when Gary and I, yeah, I grab Jesus. his hand and he's like, get him Yeah, off. she be touching <laughs> because I don't want to get an erection and think I like that. So I don't want that. <laughs> Gary, now hold up, Paul. <laughs> Slow it down. There is ne- you better stop lying. I know that if a woman, you are not. <laughs> Turned on by no, how's that ever no, happened to you? Not so much that I'm turned on, you know. But you know, sometimes I mean, you know, it just depends on stuff. You know, I'm not really turned on like that. But you just never know. It just be just a little bit, just too much. Don't, don't just, just just say. An erection I, means you I are know. turned on, sir. Is there something you want to well, tell us? No, an erection just means maybe sometimes my blood pressure just have to go up at that time, <laughs> and I need my pill. Okay. But uh, 
But no, don't use that as an excuse. Don't even try to use that. That will not so, work. But, yeah, but I don't. Um, it don't. It don't. No women have really just blatantly tried to come on to me though. But um, but you do know, honey. Now there's a lot of women in the world that like men with alternative lifestyles. Do they love? That's what. You know, that's you know, the deal. Mm -hmm. Like they love, no. and some men who have alternative lifestyles love divas. A lot of men. Oh yeah, love well, we love divas. divas. I love a diva, but I don't love. But some a, of you um, will marry. Sexually. Some of you will marry them. Oh yeah, well not I, because I'm not going to put no woman through that kind of stress, knowing damn yeah. well, honey, that honey, we might be looking for the same thing. No, yeah. girl, I, I, I don't, you know, like that and stuff. Honey. And you know, and a diva shouldn't have to be just over exaggerate, like a classy woman like yourself, and you know, and like big honey, whatever. I like y'all, you know, just classy women. Mm -hmm. so, but you wouldn't marry. That's all. I mean, but, uh, I think about star married, I think about women who have married deep. I mean. I don't know if he's, I don't know if her husband ever came out. I think he did. Did he? Am I wrong? I don't know. Oh, um, anyway, I think about, yes. Did he ever come out? Oh, shoot. Um, no. I, I, mean, I don't know. If he, even well, then we I don't know. Together, I don't but, know. I, you know what? I don't even know. But I'm just saying, okay, well, never mind it. I, I, I'm just, I'm saying that what I think and what I think the public thinks. I always thought Star Jones, I always thought Al was, and I know you know him, so I probably shouldn't have brought that up. But I always thought he was gay. And I was like, does she not know he's gay? She about to marry this gay man? But I don't even know if he came out, so I should not have said that. So I and, apologize and, to all of you out know, here. Yeah, but then you have some people that, you know, they don't, um, they they have a lot of men that are just uh, effeminate. And, yeah, you know, and people, true. you know. And so and he might them. be that. Al might be effeminate. You know what I mean? He I'm may be that. Yeah. So there are a well, lot I of men that. I ain't sitting and trick with y'all, honey, because, I mean, I once upon a time, you know, I was, you know, you know, I had a fondness of women sexually, but, honey, that was so long ago, girl. I probably don't even remember it. I don't know why I'm talking really? about Really? Anyway. Really? Next. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, okay. So if y'all have a query for Gary, you can post it in the comments section, of course. But y'all, yeah. please, every single week, we are doing there. I said it. It comes out new on Wednesdays on Spotify, Apple. You can check it out on YouTube, wherever you get your podcasts. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give us all the likes, all the stars, all the good stuff. And uh, tell us what you, you know, you got a question? Give it to us. What else, Gary? Yeah. Um, you told us, there's a lot for me to ponder here. Number one, you yes. get an erection when people touch you, girls, females. Mm -hmm. Number two, you were once sexually attracted to women. There's a lot here for me to ponder, and I appreciate you being honest with me today about it so and being honest with the people. Yes, yes. I do appreciate it. Yes. So, until um, next week, what? What you think about uh, Brittany Grinder? Do you think she's going to get out of the pen? First off, the problem is, Gary, when you when when you are in Rome, you do as Romans. I I hope she does. And now they're saying she had a doctor's note, you know, to have, um, and not she had like CD. What is it? Not not actual weed, but she had CBD. Um, but yeah. guess what? Y'all know Russia. Y'all know how they are in Russia. You can first off, I Thank they you. just made it legal for you to be have an alternative lifestyle there. So it hasn't been too long where you could do that. So that's number one. Number two. They got laws and they don't play these games. Over here, you can be a no, celebrity man, be... and possibly get off. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I feel sorry for her. her. I can't imagine being in another country, number one, especially Russia. I don't even want to go visit there, ever. Okay. Some places I'd never want to go. Russia, freaking Japan, God, Korea. Those are places I'd never want. I know people say they're going to be, they're fun. No, y'all can keep all that. I don't yeah, even like that have food. Your fun have your fun. Okay, you are have they, okay wait, wait, because I know you're trying to rush me off. This is what Gary does to me. Wait, Gary. Hmm. What places would you never visit? Do you have no desire to visit? No. Oh, well. Um, Russia? Place called, oh, no. Vider, Texas. <laughs> huh. Same. The KKK and I, Same. You know, there are so many sundown towns. <laughs> yes. yes. We just drive straight through. But I think it's gotten a little bit better now. But yeah, I don't really have a place in particular because I don't really go anywhere. I probably, well, no, I don't know where I would want to go. I want to go to the to the red light district, though, you know. Really? Um, in Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah, do they really, if they still have people in the window, not, that, don't they have men and women in the window? I, so I don't remember seeing men. It's been so long since I was there, but no, is it, yes, Amsterdam. Um, the women do sit in the window and when they are busy, the curtain is closed and the light is off. It's, I mean, I went to Amsterdam when I was like 17, right? So yeah. I went with some school friends, like my Spanish class, and we were like, so that was very interesting to see at such a young age, but I don't even know if they still have it anymore. 
She's really? So it's just not free love. Huh? No, not free love. We should take a trip to Europe, but not Russia. Not. Yeah. I mean, I like Germany, but not not you know Eastern Europe. But yes. Yeah. And let's go to Red Light well, that's, District. That's the place I want to go. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we can do and it. And play on TLC, the Red Light Special. I don't even remember how that song goes. How does that song go? I give you the red light. She said, baby, it's yours. All yours. If you want it tonight, I give I you the red That sounds like Prince. Special all through the night. Prince made um, Lil Red Carpet or something like that. I hope you don't get charged with me singing that song. But anyway. I think the way you anyway, sing it. I think the way you did it, that rendition, nobody will ever know what it was. So we good. They wouldn't even know what we I was good. saying. Good. Yes. yes. Y'all join us next week for There I Said It. Bye. Yes. There I Said It. Have a great day. Bye-bye.